Hey makeup friends, today's video is going to be completely dedicated to Cheekbone Beauty, their Canadian indigenous owned brand based out of my hometown of St. Catharines, Ontario. I've got a lot of information to give to you, so let's get into this. As always, I want to start off by welcoming you back to my channel, or if you are new here, then hello and welcome. My name is Kara, and on my channel, we like to mix beauty, brains, and the occasional F-bomb. I'm going to go through the products that are on my face. Suffice it to say, the vast majority of them are from Cheekbone Beauty, but before we get to that, I want to share with you a bit more about the brand. There are so many facets to the mission behind Cheekbone Beauty that I can't possibly give it all justice in this video. I highly recommend that you go and check out their website. They have so much information, not only on the people who inspired the shade names for the products, but also about the brand and their missions, plural. But I will share with you sort of the icing on the cake at any rate. So if we look at the whole mission behind sustainability, Cheekbone Beauty is taking that beyond just sustainable products. I mean, they do have that. This is a cruelty-free brand. There's no animal testing at any point in the development of the products. There are vegan options, including their entire line of sustained lipsticks, which we will talk about in a few moments. But also there is a drive and a goal to become even more sustainable in their packaging and production. And they have specific goals in mind to reach by 2023. For example, and I've written notes, so if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading off the paper in front of me, because sidebar, this brain just does not function the way it used to. I have this theory that we have like a max capacity for information, and at some point you hit like critical mass, and the information that's stored in your brain just becomes overridden by other information. And in my case, things like the theme song to Caillou, has taken up permanent residence in my head and overwritten certain like anniversaries and things of that sort. So I can't trust the memory, hence the notes. Let's get back to that. So I was talking about goals that they have by 2023. So for example, they want to eliminate single use plastics. They want to have refillable options and switch to biodegradable and compostable packaging by 2023. And as you'll see, as we go through the products, they are well on their way towards that goal. And in addition, they're moving towards using all plant-based or bio-based products when sourcing raw materials. So there are some lofty goals just from the environmental aspect. They also take the idea of sustainability a further step and look at cultural sustainability. Keeping in mind, this is an indigenous owned brand they're looking at the indigenous culture on the whole, not only through their philanthropic endeavors, but also by hiring indigenous people, using indigenous languages, having training and development programs, and also a planned indigenous youth scholarship fund as well. Now, I quickly glossed over that word philanthropic, but I'd like to flesh it out a little bit more for you, just so that you see it's not just a random donation here or there. 10% of their proceeds go towards organizations that help fund education options for Indigenous youth. There is a huge discrepancy between non-Indigenous and Indigenous youth, particularly youth that live on remote reservations. There's still a huge gap in education, and they're working towards helping fund that. And so far, to date, they have donated over $108,000 of their profits towards these various charities. But that's not all, they also donate product and in fact have donated over $50,000 worth of product. And they do this under a mission, I suppose you could call it, of one-to-one -one promise. And what that is, is that for every sustained lipstick that they sell, they donate one to organizations that support Indigenous youth and women. And the main goal behind all of this, aside from cultural sustainability, is to give back to the community. And so I want to read a quote from the website because I think it perfectly encapsulates what the mission of Cheekbone Beauty is. And it states that the definition of success is not based on what you attain for yourself, but instead in what you give back to your community. And frankly, I just think that's such a nice, refreshing change from so many brand owners slash creators that we see on this platform who just like to flex their wealth. And so what I also want to throw in here is that Cheekbone has been gracious enough to give me a discount code to pass on to you guys. 
It's not an affiliate code, so I'm not making any money from this. They haven't paid me to do this video, although they did give me some product, which I will mention as we get to those, but they went above and beyond. And so while they already have reduced margins because of the amount of donations that they're giving, they're still willing to give more. So if you use the code Kara at checkout, you will save 10% on any order that you make. So there are a few other little points in reviewing my notes that I just wanna to touch on because I think they help to set Cheekbone apart from some of the other indie brands that we see. For example, if you have a status card, you can set up your account to reflect that information and that portion of the sales tax will be reduced right at source. So you don't have to save up the receipt and submit it to the government down the road for reimbursement. And I don't think I've seen that on any other website ever, especially since we switched over to HST here in Canada. I don't think I've ever seen that. So it's just a nice additional thoughtful gesture that Cheekbone Beauty has made. And then briefly, before we move into the products, I also just wanna let you know that Cheekbone has recently revised their shipping policy. So it used to be a flat rate on any order, but now if you place an order over $32 Canadian and you're in Canada, you can get free standard shipping. For people in the US, I believe the rate is eight to $10, depending on where you are. And then if you are international, you will get quoted your shipping amount at checkout. All right. That is enough about that. Let's get into these products. I lied. There was one more thing I wanted to mention before we got into the products, and that relates not only to their thank you card that they include in every order that you make, but also to some of their outer packaging. So this is what the thank you card looks like. And you can see it's got the nice little pink feather. And in fact, they do include an actual pink feather in all of their packages. But on the back, there's a little bit more information. And if you can see, there are little specks in this paper. This is actually seed paper. And so if you go to the website, there are instructions on how you can plant this and it will grow into flowers. Additionally, the packaging on their eyeliners, it's the same kind of paper. So I love that. It's not enough to just be recyclable packaging, but you can also actually create flowers with their packaging, which again, I've never seen from any other brand and I just think it's a really cool touch. All right, now it is time to get into the products. So first up, I'm going to talk about their brow gel. This one I have in the shade Brunette. There are three different shade options to choose from and they each retail for $19 on the website. This one I did talk about recently in an empties video and I busted it out hoping that there would be just enough for this video today and thankfully there was. So that is what I have on my brows now. I really do enjoy the application of this. I thought that the wand might be a little bit difficult to work with because it is this like rounded end and yet I've never experienced any issues with it. It's large enough that you can get into the thickest part of your brows and yet tapered enough that you can get into the tail without having any issues. I don't find that it produces any crunchiness in my brows and I do think it has a good amount of hold without being too strong. Sometimes there are brow gels where it just like cements my brows into place and then as I move my face, because I am rather expressive, I can feel it like tugging on my brows. Altogether, not an experience that I enjoy, whereas this doesn't produce that at all and yet it does hold them into place. So I really do like this brow gel and I need to replace this one. So the next product then that I wanna talk about is the Face Trio. Now this originally is priced at $49, but currently it's on the website for $29. And there are quite a few shades to choose from. So the shades that I have here, this is number 13 called Venus Dust. This one is the Peach Shimmer Blush, number three. And then over here is number six, Earth Matte Bronzer. The pans are refillable and it's just a magnetic palette. So they do pop out and pop back into place very easily and they are very secure once they're inside the palette. Now let's talk about the bronzer. So it is called a matte bronzer. However, I think that it has a bit of a glow to it. And while a glowy bronzer isn't typically my go-to, once we approach spring, summertime, I think it kind of fits in place. I mean, I'm dewy at the best of times anyways throughout the summer because hot, but I think it just looks nice. It doesn't look out of place. I find that in winter when the rest of me is pretty much dull anyways, having a glowy bronzer looks a little off. 
but to me, this is a perfect summer bronzer. I also really like the undertone of it. I don't think that it pulls too orange on me, and it's certainly not a cool toned bronzer, so I think it just gives me that like kiss of sunshine that I'm hoping for when it comes to bronzer. As well, the blush produces a really nice sheen to the skin. It's not glittery, but it just makes you look, again, like you're lit from within, like you've, you've drank the recommended amount of water and then an extra cup. I really like it. It's very buildable, so it's not one of those blushes that just goes on like zero to a hundred straight from the pan. You do have some forgiveness there, so you can build it up to the intensity that you want. Overall, I just think that the blush is a really nice addition to my collection. And then with the highlighter as well, again, you've got that beautiful sheen going on, but there's no glitter anywhere to be found. And when I look at it in the mirror, it honestly just looks like this is my skin. I don't see the actual application. You know, sometimes when you apply a highlighter, you can just see a strip and it's really hard to blend it out or make it look natural. This just looks like this is my skin, like I was somehow blessed by the complexion gods. It's a farce, but I'll take it. It just looks natural, even though it's clearly not it doesn't look like the makeup is sitting on top of my skin, and I love that in face products. So now let's move on to eyeliners. These were gifted to me by Cheekbone Beauty, and I really appreciate that. The smaller ones here retail for $20 each, and the chubbier ones are $24. So these are more your traditional pencil liners, whereas these ones are sort of eyeshadow sticks, although you can use them as liners as well. So with the regular pencil liners, you have the shade Raven Black as well as Cedar Brown. And these are just your typical pencil eyeliners, but I really like the application of them. I suppose I could show you the application of them. These are not dry pencils by any stretch. They're almost creamy, to be honest, and you can smudge them out a bit. Once you do, they do lock into place, and I do find that they are very long wearing, even in my waterline. I sometimes get a little concerned about pencil liners because they can be very dry and then you have to really tug or they just don't lay down the product nicely and so you're just having to go over the same spot over and over again, which in particular in your waterline, you don't wanna do. You don't have to do this with this. It just applies very nicely. Likewise, you have the eyeshadow pencils. So these are available in three shades. There's the shade Plum, Green Turquoise, as well as cobalt, which is what I have on my eyes here. So again, they apply so nicely. There's no tugging whatsoever. They have a very smooth consistency. And again, they blend out really nicely as well. As you can see, the pigmentation is most definitely there, and yet you can blend them out and shear them out a bit. So as you'll see from the little video, I applied it as an eyeliner and then I just took this little guy here. So this one's from AOA Studio, it's the E118. It's just like a little foam smudgy guy. I just use that to smoke it out a bit. Now what I would suggest though is setting it with a little bit of translucent powder or with an eyeshadow that matches the color of the liner. I did have just a little bit of transfer. If you don't have hooded eyes, you're probably not gonna run into that problem, but my eyelids swallow themselves, so it is what it is. I did have a little bit of transfer, no big issue, but word to the wise, if that's something that you think you might have an issue with, just set it with a little bit of translucent setting powder and you're gonna be golden. I haven't had any smudging with it. It's still holding up, even though I applied this several hours ago, and I think it's just a beautiful product. Cheekbone also gifted me with their two new lip pencils. These aren't on the website yet, so I'm not sure what they're gonna retail for, but again, same kind of idea as with the, the pencil eyeliner. It is just a traditional pencil. It, it doesn't look like it would be anything spectacular, and yet it has that same creamy feel. So once you're applying it, you're not having to tug it across your lips. Again, it just glides on, and that's what you want a lip pencil to do. And once it's applied, it doesn't feel super drying on the lips or anything of that sort, and it does help to produce a lot of longevity with these lipsticks, which we're going to get to momentarily. They don't necessarily need the help, but it is nice to have the option. And again, I'd love to see even more shades from them. I imagine more are going to come, but these are the two that they're starting off with. 
And I think it makes sense to start with these. You've got the bright red and then you've got a nude. It's fairly universal and I just, I really like these lip pencils. I haven't always been a lip pencil person, but I have been discovering a love for them in the last few months. And these are ones that I definitely am going to be reaching for over and over again. So then that brings us to lip products. So there's three different formulas available. They have lip gloss, which retails for $19 each. They have their Sustain Bullet Lipsticks, which are $32 each. And they also have liquid lipsticks, which retail for $29. So before we get into the lip swatches, just for the sake of full disclosure, I just wanna say that Cheekbone was kind enough to gift me these two shades of their Sustain lipstick. So on the one hand, we have Aki, which is the bright red I'm wearing now. And then there's also Nuna, which is a beautiful nude shade, which you're gonna see in a few moments. Let's just do the lip swatch as a little video overlay. I'll talk about the shades as we go through them. Here we go. So first up is the lip gloss, and this is in the shade Sweetgrass. It's described on the website as a warm neutral. Again, not tested on animals, and it says that it's safe for sensitive skin. In terms of the formula of this lipstick, I'm happy to say that there is no stickiness whatsoever. It doesn't gather in the corners of my mouth or bleed outside of my lip line. There's also vitamin E in the lip gloss, so it does feel very hydrating on the lips, and it does have a very good wear time for being a lip gloss. So the first shade that I'm applying in the liquid lipstick is called Ashley. It's not on the website anymore, so this might actually be a discontinued lipstick. Regardless, you can see it's a very beautiful pink shade. I love the liquid lipstick formula from Cheekbone. It does dry down to being, I would say like 95% transfer proof, but it's not drying in any way. So if that's what turns you off of liquid lipsticks, this might be one that you actually enjoy because it remains feeling comfortable even though it does dry down completely. So the next shade that I'm trying on then is Sonia, and it's described as a rich pink with notes of blue. And what I really like about Cheekbone's naming of their lipstick shades is that they're all inspired by indigenous women. And I just, I love that. And they're not all necessarily Canadian. So for example, Sonia is an Aboriginal woman from Brazil. So I would really recommend that you go to the website and look through the different shades because the stories behind them are very inspiring in and of themselves. Let's move on to the last of the liquid lipsticks that I have. So this is the shade Bethany and it's described as a deep burgundy. And I have to say, I have a subscriber and a friend named Bethany and she is such a selfless and caring and beautiful person. And so when I wear this lipstick, that's who I think of. I mean, obviously it's named after a different Bethany, but that's the Bethany I think of. And so it just adds that extra little layer to me because she just makes me smile. This shade makes me smile and all things together. This is Bethany in a lipstick and it's just, it's perfect. It's beautiful just as she is. Just gonna interject myself for a moment here before we go on to the lip swatches of the bullet lipsticks. I just want to talk about the packaging on these Sustain lipsticks really quickly because it suits the name, Sustain. So these are fully compostable and recyclable products. When you go to the website, they have instructions on how to dismantle them and what to do with them. But I love that they have gone beyond just naming things and paying lip service in that way to actually putting their money where their mouths are and making actually sustainable products. So. With that said, let's get into the lip swatches. So first up, I'm going to line my lips with the lip pencil in the shade Sand, and then I'm going to go in with the shade Nuna. So this is a pink nude with a taupe undertone. The formula is vegan on all of these Sustain lipsticks, never tested on animals, and they're all free from scents and essential oils. These lipsticks are made in small batches, so there may be some imperfections from one tube to the next, but overall, the formula of these is beautiful. They're a very creamy lipstick. They do have a little bit of a shine to them without being too glossy. They're very comfortable and they are very long wearing. I am a huge fan of these lipsticks. So the next shade that I'm trying on is Ina, and this is a bright coral. And as you may be able to see from the application, these are very buildable lipsticks. So they don't go on full opacity when you first apply them, but you can build them up in intensity. 
And I really like that because I think it just adds to the versatility of the lipstick itself because it gives you that range of pigmentation. And I just, I really like that. I think it's really smart. The next shade is Hacky, and this is a vivid pink, and it is beautiful. I think this is my favorite of the sustained lipsticks that I have. And what I can also say is that this lasts forever on the lips. It will even survive eating. I can literally put it on in the morning before I go to work, and I don't need to touch it up before I leave the office. These are truly beautiful products. The next lipstick is called Ohor, and this is a perfect 90s brown. It's a beautiful lipstick. It still has enough warmth to it that it doesn't give you like dead lips, if you know what I mean. And yet it still does have that sort of vintage brown appeal to it. And I cannot, cannot believe that I just called the 90s vintage because I was born before the 90s, but here we are. At any rate, it's a beautiful lipstick. This is one that I can see myself wearing repeatedly when it comes to fall and winter. The last shade is this beautiful true red called Aki, and Aki is the Ojibwe language word for land or earth. Fun fact, I am Ojibwe, and actually my father's first language was Ojibwe. He was born and raised on reserve. I lived on the reserve for several years while, while I was a teenager, and during that time, my dad actually taught the Ojibwe language at the school on the reserve. And that's one thing to note about these sustained lipsticks is that while the liquid lipsticks were all named after inspiring indigenous women, these are all named after various languages words for the word land. So I'll just read quickly from the website. It says that language is the foundation of a culture and for indigenous people, words hold knowledge. Our stories, songs, and dance shared through the lips connect us to our history. This is why we're choosing to use indigenous languages in our new collection. Each shade is named after the earth, land, or word for on the land or earth in one of over 7,000 indigenous languages. We're excited to share a glimpse of each language through each shade. So again, that just brings me back to the point that going to the website, you're going to learn more than just what lipstick shades are available or what colors there are to choose from. There is a depth of knowledge on this website and it's just fascinating to read through the different languages and certainly the little mini bios that they have under the liquid lipsticks for all of these women that they drew inspiration from. Highly recommend checking out their website. So there you have it guys. Those are the products that I have tried from Cheekbone and my thoughts on them. Honestly, I have not come across a dud in their entire lineup. And I just want to take a moment to thank Cheekbone as well. I reached out to them on Instagram in a bit of a bold move, if I'm being perfectly honest, just to see if they would be willing to establish a discount code for you guys because I knew I wanted to do this video. They responded so quickly, no hesitation, no questions asked, and they offered to send me out some more products as well, which I am just blown away by. I certainly didn't ask for anything and I certainly didn't expect anything. And yet they're very generous to send that out to me and I'm very appreciative. I love Cheekbone Beauty. I love their products. In particular, I love the Sustain lipsticks. I would love to see an explosion in the color range. I mean, they have really great options to begin with, but I would love to see even more from them because these are worth the investment. They are such good lipsticks. The longevity alone blows my mind. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen my recent story where I had applied the shade Hacky in the morning and then I did an update picture about eight hours later. You could hardly see any signs of wear and I had drank coffee, I had sipped on water, I had eaten lunch. Like it is impressive how long wearing these lipsticks are and yet still how comfortable they are that far after initial application. It's honestly mind blowing to me. I love these lipsticks. I love the mission and the values. I'm just repeating myself at this point, but I am a huge fan of Cheekbone Beauty and I am so very happy to be able to share my thoughts on this brand with you. So with all of that said, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I will see you in my next one. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.